Hello guys, so here we are again to talk about medicine flashcards and today we are going to talk about using closed deletions to improve your flashcards and to improve your study. So here we are on my computer screen. So first let's focus on the basics of creating closed deletion flashcards. If you want to create the flashcards you have to first select the, the information you want to cover. For this you must have some basic understanding of what you are studying so that you can understand which parts of the data you're studying you should actually delete or cover. Okay so here we have the brachial artery divides into the radio and cubital artery. So what is important here is that we remember that the brachial artery divides into the radio and cubital artery. So we are going to occlude the name of the arteries. I used the Control shift c shortcut to create the closed deletions, but you can also just click this button here. So you can have more than one closed deletion per flashcard. What I would do in this situation, for example, I would add both these occlusions together. So what C1 means is, is that one card will be created where brachial is hidden, as another card will be made where radio and cubital will be hidden. I'm gonna show you now. So here we have the flashcards. So as you can see, in the first flashcard, brachial artery is occluded, and in the second flashcard, the radio and cubital arteries are occluded. Okay, so this is the basic about closed deletions flashcards. Most of you might know this already, I just wanted to make sure that if you are beginning you understand what they are and how you make. So one tip I would want to share with you about closed deletion flashcards is to use images as much as you can, okay, because they help you memorize what you are studying. I would uh, go search for an uh, image of the brachial artery and you can just paste that on the extra board. What this means is that in each of the, f the cards you create, when you reveal the hidden data, the image appears, as you can see here. I'm going to show you. At first the image doesn't appear, but when you show the info, the image appears. Okay, this helps you memorize better. You can use this extra for image or for you to add extra information that you feel that is important but not important enough to be made into flashcards. So this extra field is very useful. But now I'm going to talk about using hint. I have here this statement. I'm going to close this part. And to add an hint, a hint, you use two comments and then write the hint you want to put there. For example, here I would like to put gram negative or gram positive. I know when I look at this flashcard that what it wants me to remember is if Pseudomonas is a gram, ne gram negative or a gram positive bacteria and it appears something like this. Okay, before showing the information it will give you a hint about what it wants you to remember. You should normally use hints for when you want to add some information on your flashcard that helps you know what you have to remember. You shouldn't be adding hints in every flashcard because they might be negative on your memorization, but in some flashcards they are required because the context isn't enough for you to know what you should be remembering. So hints are very important in some situations, but you shouldn't be using them in all your flashcards. So the last tip I want to share with you is on how to deal when you have to make multiple closed deletions. I come across many examples like this I have here. Whether I am making flashcards for my own or for others use, medicine has a lot of lists that you must remember. So what I normally do is I start out by using a closed deletion on each of the points that I must remember. Then I add the flashcards. And as I am reviewing the flashcards and as I get more and more familiarized with them, I start editing them. Let's see, I now I'm more familiarized with this list, so I start merging some cards. And then I do this until I can group, if not all, at least some of the, the cards. It is very important that you don't group them all at the beginning, because it will make remembering a lot harder for you. Because the visions are about you including the least amount of information you can so you can remember it better. Okay, so it in most situations it is better that you make multiple deletions and then when you are more familiarized with the content you can then merge the cards as you feel you can. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I hope these videos keep helping you in your study and I hope you like the video and until next time.